Harry, thanks for joining me once again. Uh, today we play top of the league, Dagenham Redbridge. Uh, what are you expecting from this one? <laughs> again, uh, it's a very quick turnaround. Um, it's something that uh, we are used to because of the Christmas period, but a Saturday, Monday game, it is, it is tough on the players, especially when you're playing at a very high level of intensity, uh, which we, we're, we're trying to do. So it's going to be a big test for us today. Dagenham got off to a, a fantastic start. We've got a great squad, um, and they're going to be looking to be playing in, in, in the finals and uh, playoffs or, or trying to win the league. So it's going to be a great test for us today, but we're looking forward to the challenges. I mean, coming off the back of a hard fought draw at Sullahole, it must be nice to uh, start building some momentum going forwards now. Yes, um, the, the result at Sullahole was, was, was okay. Um, like I said, I didn't think there was much in it between both, both teams. Um, and I thought maybe either, either, probably if I was honest, probably both sides could have nicked it in the end. Um, so maybe a draw is, is, a, is a fair result. I know it's a tough place to go and get a point. So yes, we have got a point there, but we do move on to today's game, which is Dagenham. And again, they're off to a flyer. They're, they're, they've got powerful players. Uh, they've got quick players. They've got pacey players. They've got players that can play. And like I said I think Dagenham will be in and around there in the final final uh, games of the season. I mean, Daniel Powell got off the mark for the club uh, at, at the weekend um, with with a good goal. More to come from him, hopefully. I'm expecting more to come from him. I'm expecting more to come from a lot of my players. Uh, we are still a very young squad to, to be put together. We're only been, we've only placed them together this season. So it's important that everyone understands it takes time for players to gel. It takes time for, for players to understand uh, the way that I want to play, the understanding of what I want to do and the work ethic. Um, it's slowly creeping in, uh, so we've just got to be a bit patient. And yes, we're going to have some good results, we're going to have some bad results, but it's, it's about how, how strong are we going to be, be finishing and I think there's a lot of potential in this squad uh, to go far um, but it's just going to take time. In the last two games we've created a, a, fair, a fair few chances. What do you think really needs to happen to, to be actually converting these and putting them away? Creating chances is, is always well and good. Um, I mean even if you take the likes of Wolves, I mean they're, they're second in the Premier League of creating chances but they've got no goals. At the end of the day it's, it's the, it's the, the the chances that go on the back of the net, that counts. Uh, and that's what we need to do. We've got to start making our chances count. We've got to start testing keepers. And we've got to start, you know, putting pressure on, on the opposition that if when we do an attack, that we can score. I mean, back at the Hive London again, once again in front of the fans, uh, must be must be something you're looking forward to again. Of course. I think the fans have been fantastic. Uh, they were fantastic uh, away at Sully Hall. Uh, they were fantastic uh, at night, even though the result wasn't great. So again, the more they come out and support us, the better because we are we are one. You know, we, we're not a, a separate uh, a separate entity. We, we we need to fight together, and we need to go out there and uh, be strong together.